Residents are gathering for a council vote on construction of a disputed mosque at Narry Warren South. Laura Spurway's there. Now, Laura, what's likely to happen at the meeting? Well, Peter, there's a large security presence here at the moment as supporters of and opponents against the mosque arrive for the outcome of this meeting. The council has already received a planning report that recommends it block this application. The meeting is due to start at 6.30 and we are anticipating that the council will indeed move to vote against it. But this proposal has certainly divided the local community here as we discovered today. This green wedge of Narriwarren North could become a sprawling development. And there's word on the street, if you like, that it would be uh, turned into an Islamic hub and, the, and it's been marketed in their website as the largest hub in Australia. An 8.5 hectare site with plans for a mosque, a school and car parking accommodating up to 2,000 people. There's one little mosque that's in Hallam currently um, and it doesn't even accommodate for a quarter of what needs to be. The group behind the application says there are 15,000 Muslims in the council area and the site was earmarked to foster the community. But there's been strong local opposition from a Facebook petition with more than 10,000 likes and Rise Up Australia, of which local councillor Rosalie Crestani is also a member. Issues of social and cultural impact and also would there be risks here uh, associated with radicalisation and terrorism. A council report was submitted last week recommending the planning application be blocked because of the effect on the landscape and amenity of the area and reservations from Vic Roads about local traffic. The mayor is adamant backlash from the online and far-right groups will not impact tonight's decision. Now all these people have done is create angst in the community unnecessarily. For a, a place that's always been so welcoming and so accommodating for everybody, it's rather shocking. Eleven councillors will cast their votes, but the Islamic Trust has the right to appeal any decision within 28 days. Laura Spurway, Nine News.